Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. This is The Ferry. Have you ever wondered what it's like to run the evening ferry across a calm bay? This game was developed in one week for the Scream Secrets Game Jam by Alex Orlikovich, and I apologize if I butchered the name. Uh, this was a developer that gave us Night of the Christmas Tree and Cage Face, so uh, let's dive in. Well, not dive I guess, but ferry. Let's ferry in. Let's ferry this into things. Prologue. I was looking through the job section when I found an ad for a ferryman. Apparently the town of Scotto Bay is having a festival and the regular ferryman broke his leg. They're offering a hefty bonus due to such short notice. The ferry goes to an island that's famous as a camping spot, so it'll be pretty busy. But it'll still be easy money. I called them and was on the road within an hour. And here we are. We are in control. Uh, wow. Is that our, our sports car? Whip. We're doing pretty okay if, we, if this is our car, I think. Uh, we have a checklist. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of things to check off. Raise the gate to allow cars to approach. Direct cars onto the boat. You can load up to four cars, but it's okay to leave with fewer. Watch for stragglers and try not to run behind schedule. When the cars are loaded, press the button by the ramp. It will lock automatically. Head up to the bridge and hold the lever down to start moving forward. The ferry practically runs itself and will automatically stop when it reaches the opposite dock. So no risk on running aground. Press the ramp buttons. Really, that's that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff to wrap my noodle around. Um, well, we have a note here. Ferryman note. To the one filling in for me, my ferry is likely older than you, but she's a good girl if you treat her right. Important, do not wreck my boat or I'll feed you to the fishies. And then we have, oh, Navarrete. Ah, I see you made it. Who is this? Why, I'm the owner of that there ferry. Didn't you get my note? Oh yeah, nice to meet you. Just be kind to my boat and we'll call it a pleasure after. You know what you need to do? Yeah, seems seem simple enough. Very well then. Just press that there button to raise the gate and let's get a move on. Don't know why, but I'm already kind of getting the feeling that the uh, the old Fisher guy is uh, Quint from Jaws. Oh, we have our first person here, so direct the cars onto the boat. How, how do I do that exactly? Are they gonna stop? Or are they gonna? No, they are gonna stop. Okay, we, we're piling up now. Hello, next lane, please. And there they go. You can load up to four cars. Will this be like a, a management sim? Hello, go ahead. I guess not. On you go. And we have that will be the fourth one. So you're our last straggler. Come on, man, I haven't got all day. Take the open lane. By the sea. This is a busy night. By the sea. <laughs> Do I... Am I meant to check the thing again? No, it's just staying open. Okay, so we are fully loaded. Uh, when the cars are loaded, press the button by the ramp. The button by the ramp, you said. Ah. That loads up, then we head on up. And, uh, yeah. Oh, you have to hold it down. Ah, listen to the engine purr. She'll keep a steady pace as long as you hold the lever down. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm trying to. I'm just, oh. Got to keep hold of that. I see a light twinkling in the distance there. Have you ever wanted to be a ferryman? I've been making these trips for as long as I can remember. It's very quiet. Yes. Some would say too quiet. As it should be. Okay. So, all's looking good then. I can see the... Oh. What is that? That's the only thing that's been on my route. Like a boulder? Iceberg right ahead! We're good. We've missed it. I can't really seem to direct this. It's pretty much, you pull the lever, you go forward. That's it. What did the captain name the extremely far ship? Usain Boat. <laughs> no gate on the island, so just load any waiting cars and head back to shore. 
Okay. Oh, so I have to uh, put down the ramp on this side, I guess. That would make sense. Uh, okay. Drive safely. Oh, we've got cars all ready to go. Have a good night. Enjoy your evening. Get out of here. Get out of here, you bums. Do I get paid for doing this? I mean, are they meant to pay me, or do I just get like a lump sum at the end? Take the open lane. Go ahead. Hope the storm isn't a bad one. Hmm. Is that it? Is that all we've got? Two? Alright. Two it is. Heading back to the mainland. It's quite a uh, therapeutic job, I think. Is there a storm coming? What gave you that idea? Oh, the guy. Yeah, a passenger mentioned it. Nothing, eh? Surely... Ah, yes. Just checked with the Coast Guard and a freak storm is brewing out to sea. Oh! We got another boat! Hmm. Surely boats shouldn't be going through my thorough lane, no? I suppose there's uh, enough space. It's the sea, after all. Space for everyone. Yeah, there's a... I could, I could see... I could see myself doing this kind of job. Quite relaxing. Quite therapeutic. Just pulling, pulling down on a lever. Oh, we've got a little island there as well. I didn't see that before. On the right-hand side. Hmm. There we go. Welcome to Scotto Bay. Alright, let's get that ramp down. And off you go. Drive safely. Damn storm is ruining my weekend. Alright. Have a good night. And we are already... Going to lift the gate. I did push the button last time. I thought there'd be more notes or... Is it the same note? Yeah. Okay. On you go! We've got three guys here, huh? Take the open lane. No, oh, we got a straggler coming. So far, so good. Haven't encountered any, uh... Any weird things in the woods. Passengers haven't really been giving me much trouble. It's a simple life. There we go. Whoop. And away we go again. I'm half expecting something to happen in between. How do you like it so far? I could get used to this. Well, don't. Do you have any questions for me? Tell me about the festival. Legend has it, there was a fishing village here once. One night, the village was destroyed and the survivors built the current town. That was 200 years ago to the night. So it's the town's birthday. Hmm. More like a memorial to the old village, the old ways. Sure, life is full of hazards, and we shouldn't forget that. Is this island a cult? Is this cult island now? Is that what you're telling me? I'm getting weird paganism type vibes from the uh, the old ferryman who's broken his leg. Hmm. Right. But who am I to question the village? I'm just here doing my job. Don't forget to, uh, off you go. Enjoy your evenings. Party hard. 
May you be blessed. Yeah, I'm definitely getting um, cult-like vibes from the island. Is this like a Wicker Man thing? Take the open lane. No one's saying so much to you, you know. On you go. Those campers weren't happy about the evacuation order. Hang on. So the town's getting evacuated, yet I am bringing people onto the island as well, am I? It would be good, I mean, just say it would be, at the moment it doesn't feel like there's a storm brewing. If it was uh, a bit of rain. But this was made in one week, and so far, you know, I've got to be impressed. With the mechanics at play here. Oh, let's make sure they've got a spot, they've got an empty spot here. No, no stragglers, that's it, three. Getting you guys off the island. Because there is a storm coming. And off we go. Yeah, that boulder's looking a little bit ominous. Can I... hang on. Let me try and... Uh, I, I thought I'd be able to kind of have a look. Apparently not. Onwards! Hey! Watch it! I heard that all the way over here. Where are you? It sounded like I hit something. Just try to pay more attention next time. I want my boat back in one piece. How does he know where we are? Is he looking at us? Was he the guy on the other boat? Um, hmm. Yeah, okay. Alright. Maybe I'm just being a little bit paranoid. But sometimes it pays to be paranoid in horror games. Why does a ferry boat never get sick? Because it's always going to the dock. The dock. Alrighty. You're all set. Off you go. Bye bye. Enjoy your evening. Yeah. If the island was being evacuated, surely I should not be allowing these people in. Maybe I could, I could just go, I guess. Why am I... Hmm. Would I be punished for that? Would I be punished if I just rode off now into the sunset? Other to the other side to bring more people back? I mean, there's cars waiting. I'm not, I'm not going to argue. Next lane. If you want to go onto the island that's been evacuated, I'm just going to be bringing you back anyway. So, you know, I'm getting paid either way. My friend. I'm getting paid either way. So far, nothing really much has happened. Um, the ferry hit something? We don't know what. The previous ferryman seems to have eyes on us. Oh, my bad. From somewhere. And the island's been evacuated even though I'm bringing people onto the island. I mean, these could be like femur type people maybe that I'm bringing in. Maybe I'm bringing in like the specialists that are here to help the islanders. Oh. Sounds like the old girl's old. Don't worry, it's nothing complicated like a fuse box or anything. That's good to know. Just head below and you'll find a valve. Turn it and she'll be right as rain. Alright, a valve, eh? Nothing to worry about, folks. Nothing to worry about. Although we have stopped suspiciously by the boulder thing. Where's the valve? Valve, valve, valve. Is it here? Nope. Aha. All good? We good to go? Hey, 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 hey. Be patient. Be patient. No need for that.
Yeah, it has a kind of slow build to it. I think, um... Are we safe on this designated sea that we're on? On this path that we're on? Not sure. Don't know. But who are we to question things? Oh. This wasn't here before. They're lying. Leave before they find out. I warned you. Who, who are lying, exactly? Hmm. Your service to the town will not be forgotten. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Who's leaving me notes? Did one of the passengers leave the note for me? Must have been. So, oh, we've got another car coming. One of the people have left a note to me saying that they're lying and that I need to, to get the hell out of Dodge. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to fall up now. Any more strange, suspicious notes being left for me? Hmm. So, uh, how was the old village? Nobody knows. Probably was just a freak storm like the one we're expecting tonight. Oh, so there isn't a storm as of yet. Or a huge wave come onto shore like one of them there tsunami things. The kids think it was revenge. Revenge? Yeah. Yeah. Sailors come to town with their stories and the kids eat them up. Kids are always talking about ghosts and goblins. Hey, look kid. Those freak storms are no joke and there are more people to evacuate. Let's focus on that and we can talk tell- Oh, we can talk to tells after everyone's safe, okay? Okay. I feel like there's something going to be happening on this little tiny island here as well. So far we've got like a boulder, uh, but I can't look at it, otherwise the power goes out on the boat, on the ferry. We don't want that. We have to evacuate the people. We've got a mission to do here. This isn't just a job anymore. This is- this is a mission. Alright. I should be home in time for the banquet. Yes, the banquet. Drive safe. Get out of here. You possible cultist members, you. Yeah, I think if there was uh, more time for development, then uh, you could probably, you know, talk to the customers, find out, you know, a bit more about... Can we... So actually... Not sure if I want to stay. This place gives me the creeps. So we could potentially leave? Is that what we're saying? Okay. Oh, I've got to push the thing again. I guess this has given me the option of leaving, right? Is this giving me the option of... Can I leave? You know what? Screw the money. Uh, I guess I did. <laughs> I quit. The next morning you awoke to hear Scotto Bay was destroyed in a freak storm. Good thing you quit when you did. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So maybe there's multiple endings in this. Um. <laughs> Alrighty. We got out of dodge. We survived. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to play that again, aren't I? I'm going to have to find out what actually happens if we continue with our servitude to the ferry. So here we go. We're back again. Um, this time... Oh. Is that someone? Ah. Uh, it looks... It looks like a figure. A figure in the trees there. 
Hmm. Hmm. I could be wrong. It could be just something. It could be another. Yeah. I do. I do get the feeling I'm being watched, but um, having to <laughs> ferry the people across and back again uh, is becoming quite arduous and quite repetitive. But now we're here. We have decided not to take the coward's way out. We are taking the people back to the island. Once again, I don't know why we're actually taking people to the island that's been evacuated. That hasn't really been clarified for me yet, but we're doing it anyway. I'm not talking to our fisherman friend again, no? No, apparently not. Oh. Watch it. Sorry. Am I hitting something? That ominous looking boulder iceberg thing still there. So now we are literally in uncharted waters. Hey, listen kid, this will probably be the last trip back, so I'm off to bed. You did good tonight, and we appreciate it more than you'll ever know. Okay. Was he the one in the trees watching me? He did know. He did say in the thing like, "Hey, I heard it all the way from over here." Where Where was he? Is he hiding in the trees, watching me do my job? And surely, like walkie-talkies, there's a certain amount of distance, right? The path to heaven is clear, even for you. Oh, I'm definitely getting culty-like vibes from this village. Hey, please don't leave yet. My girlfriend called and asked me to get her. All right. Okay, I'll keep a spot open. Hmm. Will I, though? You gotta be quick, my friend. There's a storm brewing. The evacuation is nearly complete. Hmm. You see some headlights in the distance there. Is there anyone in the trees here? Anything around? Hmm. Uh, so that's another van. Is our friend turning up with his girlfriend? Is that him? It better be you. Otherwise, uh, we've got a full ferry. And I won't be able to take you home, I'm afraid. Or take you out of the island. Thanks for waiting for us. So yeah, it was then. No problem. Drive on and let's get out of here before that storm gets too close. Hmm. Yes. So you said this, the, the previous ferryman said this would be the last trip, right? We're going to bring these people back and everything's going to be okay. Ah. Uh, I saw something just now. That wasn't a boulder at all, was it? That was Nessie. That was Nessie. Or a Kraken. One or the other. I'm gonna go with Nessie, though. Some folklore for the island. Hmm. So is that the thing I've been hitting every now and then? When I've been going back and forth between the island and the mainland? Possibly. It's fine, though. This is our last job. We're dumping these people at the mainland, and we're going home. In our muscle car. And we're going to get paid decently, handsomely, for this evening's work. Yes. Alrighty then. The mysterious note has disappeared. So maybe one of the other passengers took it away. Off you go now. Bye bye. Have a nice night. Live your lives. Just remember, I saved you. I saved you all. No, no, no. Don't thank me. Don't thank me. Just doing my job. Just doing my job. Right.
What do we do? Do we contact the guy now? Do we say, job well done? There's another car coming. There's another car coming. But we're done. We're done for the evening. Yeah? I'm sorry. You're going to have to go back. Is this a, this is a hearse. Everyone's been evacuated. There is one casualty this night. We must deliver their body. Okay, but let's make it fast. No! Agreed. No. No, 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 no. Hang on. Why are you taking the body onto the island? I don't want to do this. I could just go home, but we've already done that. Ah, goddamn. All right. Okay. No, no mysterious notes. No, apparently not. And now the thing that we presumed was a boulder, which is now Nessie. Uh, keeping my eyes peeled. Keeping my eyes peeled. The previous ferryman has gone radio silent on me. He's apparently gone to bed, which I don't believe for a second. I believe he was that figure in the trees watching me. I don't care what kind of sacrificial things you've got going on in this island where you need a dead body to practice some ritualistic, cult-like shenanigans. I want no part of it. I just wanted to do my job, take the people from the island to the mainland, get paid, go home, have a club sandwich. Now there's some splashing going on. There's some splish splashing. Splashing. We don't like the sounds of the splish splashing splashing. Is that Nessie rearing her beautiful aqua-like head from the depths of the ocean? Perhaps. But it's okay. Oh. Glad we're getting clear weather for the festival. Wait. Is this thing on? Oh. Epilogue. That night, a creature known only to the people of Scotto Bay awoke and consumed the town's peace offering. Satisfied in this exchange, the beast settled back down and vengeance was averted for another century. The next morning, the ferryman returned to duty in a boat identical to the one sacrificed and went about business as usual. People once again flocked to the island getaway, never knowing that the beast sometimes mentioned in hushed whispers by the townsfolk was sleeping in plain sight. Well, there you go, guys. That was the ferry. Um, yeah, I... I mean, it just wasn't me being sacrificed, right? Because we had the we had the hearse with obviously the driver there, so there are two sacrifices to satiate the beast. Um, it's interesting to see. So the first ending, I drove away, and it said that the town uh, or the island was consumed, was destroyed by the storm. So does that mean then that the Kraken beast, whatever it was that consumed me, was some kind of Cthulhu godlike monster that can control the weather? I'm not sure about that, because the, the fisherman, the, the previous ferryman, did say that the, the festival, like the festivities, it got, had that Wicker Man vibe. You know, that the crops would be well in the future, being having me being sacrificed. But as I said, there were two sacrifices. There was the hearse driver uh, and a coffin, which I'm presuming was the coffin for me, but then was also consumed by the Kraken. Uh, maybe we could have put the hearse, <laughs> delivered the hearse to the island, and then on the way back, get consumed by the monster but hey ho there you go this was made in a week and you know i did like it um i didn't like that having gone through the first ending you have to repeat you have to rinse and repeat as it did say on the checklist going back and forth again it did it did become quite repetitive but um i enjoyed that for made to be, be made in one week uh i applaud the developer for this one and uh yeah maybe there were things that i missed out maybe there was something happening on that little small island when we first cast off from the docks uh, that I just don't know. Don't know what was there. Anyway, guys, um, leave me your thoughts and comments below. Um, like or dislike the video. And if you haven't already, please sub. Otherwise, I will consume you with my Kraken-like powers. Until the next one, stay ghoulish. Bye.